Okay. I'm here to make something very clear. Hold on. I have to do something. What I was going to be saying is, no one has infinite strength in the comics. Now, everyone gets strength from a source of something. Hulk is a good example of this. He gets his powers from a source of gamma radiation. Now, since the universe has plenty of gamma radiation, you'd think it would go around forever, right? No. When Hulk, he cannot produce gamma radiation. He just cannot physically do that. Just like Superman cannot ca cannot distribute light from a star. Meaning that if he soaks up all the energy from stars in the universe, he can no longer gain strength anymore also. So Hulk and Superman have limits. Now, let's just break it down to Hulk's feats of strength. So, Hulk's basic one is that he stopped a train right when he turned into Hulk, which is about 100,000 tons. Now, that's very impressive. But he just turned into Hulk. So meaning he could lift 100,000 tons without even being angry at the time. So, let's start off with another basic one. He's able to fight against Iron Man, Thor. Took an energy beam from Galactus. Was able to resist the penitent stare from Ghost Rider. But the Hulk does have his downfalls. He is kind of retarded. He doesn't know anything. He just knows the smash, smash, and some more smash. Smashing not working? You know he freaking smashes. Anyway... It usually seems to work because his fist can create more than if he were to punch you very lightly. It will still feel like you're getting hit with half a kilometer, a, just like a half a ton of TNT, which means you're literally kind of obliterated. But the Hulk could also lift buildings very easily. That's a basic one. And Hulk's been able to lift 150 billion ton mountain. But that's not even close to his base, his most impressive feat of strength. One time he was able to lift a star, one time he lifted a black hole. One time Hulk even lifted Earth. He can lift the solar system if he wanted to, I guess. Here's the thing. One time, Hulk got an orb. Listen here. Call, and then he, from that, after he got that orb, he was called the Immortal Hulk. Now, this is a Hulk where basically, he doesn't need any gamma radiation. He just goes in strength. Now, if this Hulk were to fight Superman, I'm pretty sure Superman would get destroyed. Because he's able to... Literally knock out Hercules, the god of strength himself, with one punch. And he's already in Warbreaker mode. He defeated the whole entire Marvel Universe and the Avengers. He even stopped Juggernaut from running. Now, if you know Juggernaut, you know once he gets going, nothing so far has been able to stop him except for the Hulk. One time he was even decreased to his bones, and he was still running. Just to show you how Juggernaut does not stop running. Once he's running in that direction, he's not going to stop running in that direction. Mountains seem to slow him down a tidbit. He could run near the speed of sound, which is crazy. He could run 800 miles per hour. That is blasphemy. Now, sound is not actually that quick. It's only Mach 1. But, it's still fast. Faster than any car known to man. And also, Juggernaut is able to have infinite strength also. But we're not talking about him. That's the end of a different video. Right now we're talking about the Hulk. The Hulk 
does not have infinite strength unless he goes into Mortal Hulk. We already know he has the best healing factor, way better than Wolverine's in the comics. But, this healing factor does not last forever. Things with Zeus, Zeus and Sentry have been able to stop the healing factor by punching it out of him. Because he literally punched them so hard, his cells cannot regenerate fast enough to stop Zeus's punch. So Zeus and Sentry might cause problems to him. Even though he's beat them before, literally Sentry knocked the Hulk out of Banner. So, kind of like Thanos in Infinity War. We'll talk about him another time too. But, you don't understand the pure potential of Hulk. The angrier he gets, the stronger he gets. But, this does not last forever. Again, we already know that in Immortal Hulk, he does not need any sources of gamma radiation. But, we're talking about Hulk. Not Mortal Hulk, because he had to get the orb to even be in that state. We're talking about his best feat of strength he's ever showcased in comic book history. We're talking about lifting a damn black hole. Now, black holes, Hulk would die if he didn't know how to concentrate energy. He lifted a black hole. If he did not know how to concentrate energy, he wasn't even in any form of state the whole time. And already, the 150 billion time round is nothing because he lifted a star. One time, he kept a huge guy the size of the Earth away from the Earth using the power of him, which basically means he lifted it without being angry at all. Just to show you, Hercules lifted the earth, which is his most impressive feat of strength. But Hulk did it like nothing. That's just amazing. He could lift the earth like nothing. Just shows the... Show how physically stronger Hulk is in Thor. We'll talk about him in another video too. But Hulk does have a... Very big downside. He can run at speeds of Mach 5, but his intelligence, he's been outsmarted by nearly everyone known to man. He literally does not even go for any weak spot in a fight. He uses environmental objects, but he doesn't really use anything but his fists that often. And his punching power is just so overpowered. We're not talking about the 50 octillion tons. I already covered that in one video, but that was very wrong. Quicksilver is also very wrong with Flash, that's right, but. The highest thing Hulk has ever lifted is 270 octillion tons. I got that right. But the highest punch he can exert would destroy universes. Now, this is similar to Superman's, um, a different video, Matthew's a different video. But, Hulk's punches might not be as powerful as Superman's. Hulk is stronger, but he's also not at the same time. Now listen, if Hulk were to really fight Superman, if Hulk were to punch him into a red sun, it's game over for Superman. And he could definitely do that. Hulk has been able to punch, throw Fing Fang Boom into the moon. Which is over. Sorry, an ad. I don't know why. So, he threw Fing, Fing Fang Boom to the freaking moon. And he fought against... He literally fought against himself. Doesn't make sense. I don't get it either. Go check out... Just search the video. I don't even know. But, just like the Juggernaut. I'll talk about him in another video. He could just hit the Earth. And create 8.0 earthquakes. Just, no. But, unlike Juggernaut, he's not used to doing that. Sorry guys, I need to close my door. I'll be right back. Sorry, just... So basically, 
basically, Juggernaut does not have a stronger punch than Hulk. Hulk has been able to do some pretty amazing things. He threw Fang Fung to the moon. <laughs> He's been able to battle Thor, which literally battled Godzilla, which battled Kong, which battled a stronger Godzilla and won. So, uh, he's very strong. He killed the whole Marvel Universe when he went to Earth Break him up. We haven't even talked about Heart of the Monster Hulk. It's basically like Earth Breaker Mode, but he gains strength a lot faster. And he has a lot of stronger punch. He's already able to lift the Earth like it's nothing when he's literally in his base form. The form where he literally turns into Hulk for one second. This doesn't even matter because he's being able to throw tanks over a mile just like it was literally a eaten corn dog. He doesn't care. He just just he just doesn't think though. Superman would think at least, but not the Hulk. Also, a big downside of a strong character. Otherwise in Doomsday and Juggernaut and stuff in a different video, obviously. And Solomon Grundy, different video, obviously. They cannot fly, but they are very strong. Superman, on the other hand, different video, obviously, can fly. Sentry, on the other hand, different video, obviously, can fly. You know what I'm doing here. The big characters don't seem to be able to fly. So, that's a problem for Hulk. Which gives Superman a huge advantage. But he more than likely um, lets up for it because he could jump in space. He could also break through the gravity barrier. He could also run at speeds Mach 5. Five times the speed of sound. Or even more because he could just run as fast as he wants. He's been able to punch his fist way beyond Mach, th like, Mach 30. It's not hard for the Hulk to run fast. Like Juggernaut, but nowhere near as fast as Hulk. Different video, obviously. I, I'm going to keep saying this. I don't care. Different video. But Hulk does have a limit. Besides Immortal Hulk, we already talked about him. Let's talk about Mortal Hulk a little bit more. Infinite strength. His healing factor does not run out like the other Hulks. But he needed to find the orb in order to do that so that it doesn't count as a strength feat. Because he, I don't think he's going to find that orb ever again. But there is a Hulk out there that was so intelligent, still strong. Professor Hulk. Now, you might be questioning who this guy is. Well, he's going to be in the next Avengers movie, so you might figure out in that movie. But no one watches this anymore. But, he's basically Hulk mixed with Bruce Banner. The strength of Hulk in the mind of Bruce Banner, which is the best combination you can ever have. Because Bruce Banner helped Stark create the Hulkbuster, Ultron, and a number of other armors. He's basically as intelligent as Tony Stark. Because he's been able to do things very similar to his. But, Hulk does have his downsides. He is very weak at night. And he has some power that could be exposed to some wrong people. There could be a very bad member in his family, and they could take the Hulk out of Bruce Banner. They could take Hulk DNA out of Bruce Banner and put it inside that other family member, and now they would be Hulk, just like he did with his sister. Because his sister was able to do that. Why wouldn't anyone else in his family? Because that's why she became She-Hulk. And the Red Hulk. I don't know the exact storyline, but I guess it's very convoluted because Red Hulk is obviously, he starts off a lot stronger. Uh, another video, obviously. And also Abomination does another video, obviously. All right, I'm going to stop saying that. No, I'm not. Um, Hulk is strong. Very strong. But there's not enough gamma radiation to keep up with this huge monster behemoth. He could grow up to be over 15 feet tall, weigh over 3,000 pounds, a ton and a half. 3,000 pounds. It's crazy. And he'd be able to punch a 200 foot long 
Leviathan. Like, it was a zebra cake. Which basically means he could one punch Godzilla and he would die. That's how easily Hulk can kill Godzilla. And he has a better healing factor than Wolverine. Let's talk about that again. It can be knocked out of the Hulk, but he has to be so strong to do that. Which Zeus actually is, but Hulk's killed him before. It's the time he killed the whole Marvel Universe. And Earthbreaker is the third strongest Hulk state. And he already he already almost sunk the whole eastern seaboard with a few steps. <coughs> Even the Hulkbuster wasn't able to beat the Hulk without being in Earthbreaker mode most of the time. Because Hulk is just like that. He's just immortal. Basically, when he goes in that mortal state, nothing could hurt him. He's practically just... He can be turned back into Bruce Banner, but not even Betty was able to do it. Just to calm him down a little bit. Hulk... People were scared of him because they know he could destroy the universe as we know it. By stepping in his right step. Or just the right punch. But we know he wouldn't do anything. But he's not Superman. Superman would never do that. But the Hulk. He's done it a couple times actually. The Hulk is uncontrollable. Not even mind controllers could even try and take advantage of him. Because he's resistant to mind control. The MCU doesn't worry about that though. It's been mind controlled two times. It doesn't really matter what anyone does. They're not going to kill the Hulk. Besides Zeus. And plus, if you try to kill Banner, that has been disproven many times because he just turned into Hulk and killed the other person. One time, Ruth Banner got shot in the head, turned into Hulk. He got turned to stone, turned into Hulk. And Hulk broke out the stone like he did nothing. He's resistant to mind control. He can literally see Doctor Strange in astral form, which is a ghost. Which is kind of just amazing. And I know Hulk is very, very idiotic. But if he goes into his gray Hulk state, his weakest state, he can barely even lift kind of a hundred tons. And he's very stealthy, but he doesn't really know anything. He's just a weaker but stealthier version of Hulk. Hulk does have downfalls and some very impressive feats. So that was my opinion on the Hulk. If you have any other feats of strength I've got to mention, any other modes I forgot to mention, just let me know in the comments. And if I forgot to mention anything very important about any other videos, also leave in the comments of those videos. See you later. Bye!